The people of Timor-Leste voted yesterday to choose their next president. And who will become Timor-Leste's next president? Joining us on Asia Prime tonight, we have Metro Globe Network's Iqbal Himawan, live from Dili, Timor-Leste. Hello, Iqbal. Iqbal, can you please give us the update on the latest information from the ballot Thanks, counting up to today, Iqbal? So we just got back from the uh, technical committee of the Timor-Leste's presidential election for 2022. And based on the preliminary result, the candidate number one, Jose Ramos Horta, win a landslide victory. I'm going to read you the result. Uh, he's uh, from the latest result. Uh, Jose Ramos Horta gets 62.09 percent or for exact 397,145. Meanwhile, candidate number two, Francisco Gutierrez Luolo, get 37.91 percent or equally 242,440 percent. This is according to the pre preliminary result published by the election secretariat. Ramos, Halto, Ramos Horta defeated the incumbent Francisco Gutierrez by 62.09%, just like the first round. And this is his second term in office after he's become president in 2007 to 2012. In the first round, Horta also gets 46% over Luolo that gets 22%. And as of 9 p.m., Sarah, all votes from 12 district has been counted. The votes came from a total of 1,200 voting stations or known, locally known as TPS. And this is including nine of uh, overseas voting stations. Sarah. With all the votes um, coming in from all the districts, Iqbal, are there any information on when the final result will be officially announced? So after the votes being counted in the, uh, the technical commission, it will be handed out to the uh, election commission for uh, a verification process. It will spend around three days or 72 hours to be verified. Uh, and uh, learning from the first round, there are some reports of around 20,000 uh, votes that you know, got a report that it's not being counted, but after it's being verified from the commission, it turns out that 4,000 is actually uh, have to be counted because uh, it is according to the law and the rule. And then uh, the, the next question is when will uh, the result will be announced? After 72 hours uh, verified by the com ele election commission that it will be handed out to the high court, and then from after that, the High Court will announce the result approximately three days after being verified by a national commission. And then after it's being announced by the High Court, uh, the winner will take office in the May 20th, or symbolically a 20 years anniversary of uh, Timor-Leste's independence restoration, Sarah. With that, Iqbal, can you please uh, also tell us on the challenges that will be faced by the next president of Timor-Leste, Iqbal? The first one in my, might be the most important is the political deadlock. As we know, uh, it started uh, between two main parties, as we know, at, between C and RT, uh, a political party that founded by the Freedom Fighters, Anana Guzmao, that backed the candidacy of Ramos Horta, and then the other is with Fratlin, who is backed the uh, candidacy of uh, Francisco Gutierrez or Luolo. It all started when CNRT proposed six ministers, and then it got rejected by uh, Francisco Gutierrez because of the corruption allegation. And since then, uh, the political um, conflict uh, internal political conflict happens between the parliament. And then while well, Horta gives signal that he might be held earlier parliamentary elections, but this uh, political party that support Francisco Gutierrez or Luolo, namely Fretland together with PLP and Kuntu, has reached the agreement to continue their alliance to 2023. 
And then the second problem that might face the new president, newly elected president, is the budget, because the government has operated without annual budget. It, it might sound weird, but yes, uh, for a few uh, months back, the budget that's being proposed by the government always been rejected by the parliament. So they rely on the sovereign fund savings, or known as petroleum funds. And then after that, the other problems that might uh, challenge to the uh, newly elected president are, we might hear it uh, b before, poverty and then lack of job and health service for mothers and children. But when I talked to uh, Ramos Horta in his house, he said that he will build communication with the governing parties to restore constitutional mandate and also to prevent more severe economic downturn. When I asked the two candidates, uh, both are saying Ramos Horta pretty convinced or pretty sure that he will win, but he will uh, believe in the result. Uh, he will give it to the, uh, the authorization. And also, the Luolo said that uh, he will respect all results because this is uh, democracy. Sarah. All right, respecting all the results because it is a democracy. Thank you very much, Iqbal Himawan, for your latest update and report from Timor Leste.